Title, Dance, Not Hate. Dash 17-year-old charged with hate crime in heartbreaking stabbing of O'Shea Sibley, a celebrated gay dancer. TL, DR, a 17-year-old suspect has been charged with a hate crime in connection with the fatal stabbing of O'Shea Sibley, a gay dancer, in NYC. The crime occurred after Sibley was seen voguing to Beyonce's music. The tragic incident led to a widespread outpour of love, remembrance, and a call for justice. But what does this say about hate and intolerance in our society today? The dance floor turned crime scene. We all know the saying dance like no one's watching. But what happens when the dance floor becomes a crime scene? O'Shea Sibley, a talented gay dancer, was living life to the fullest, dancing to Beyonce's tunes at a gas station in NYC. What started as a joyful celebration turned into a shouting match and ended in a horrifying tragedy, O'Shea Sibley's fatal stabbing. The NYPD didn't miss a beat and arrested a 17-year-old suspect, charging him with murder as a hate crime. So, what happened? Why did dancing lead to death? A tribute of love and resistance. It's not every day that Queen Bey herself pays tribute to someone. Beyonce's heartfelt homage to O'Shea is a beautiful echo of love and acceptance. Fans and fellow dancers flocked to the side of the murder, voguing and protesting in his name. Is this an act of resistance or a cry for change? A hate crime or a crime of our times? The fact that this incident is prosecuted as a hate crime sends a powerful message. Friends of Sibley claim the suspect and his group had an issue with them being gay. But isn't dancing all about expression and acceptance? How did we get here, where dancing to a song can ignite such hatred? The H factor, justice or judgment? Our 17-year-old suspect will face the full force of the law. But will he be tried as an adult? What does this mean for his future and the future of hate crime prosecution? Is age a factor, or is the crime itself enough? Voguing for a better tomorrow. O'Shea Sibley's death is a stark reminder of the importance of love, acceptance, and embracing diversity. We need to vogue our way to a better tomorrow, where hate has no place on the dance floor or anywhere else. People are turning grief into a movement, using the art of dance as a weapon against hate. But the question remains. Is the tragic loss of O'Shea Sibley enough to spark a real change in how society views and treats the LGBTQ plus community? And what can we all do to make sure that dance remains a symbol of joy, not tragedy? Disclaimer, this article does not provide legal or moral advice. It represents facts and opinions relevant to the case at the time of reporting. The views expressed here are not recommendations or the thoughts of turned up news. Please consult appropriate professionals for advice.